Hi folks, Jason Clemens here from Clemens Boats in Sandusky, Ohio. Today we're taking a look at our 2018 2302 Nautic Star Legacy. As you can see here, this boat is sitting on a aluminum load right trailer. It can be sold with the trailer, without the trailer. Uh, we have a lot of people here that dock or rack store their boat and don't need a trailer, but obviously we're more than welcome to sell you a trailer as well. This particular one has the Carolina blue hull side, real sharp looking boat, white underside of the T-top and uh, white powder coating. You can do white or black powder coating, lots of different underside T-tops, lots of different hull colors and bottom colors. If you watched our other video, we have a titanium one very similar here. That has a 200 XB, this one has a 250, and then we have another one that is a white hull with a titanium underside and bottom, which is a really sharp boat as well. All finished fiberglass, no wood in the boat, lifetime haul warranty, and number one in market share in 18 to 28 feet boats. A lot of value there, a lot to talk about. Bear with me as I climb aboard the scaffold here and we'll take a look at the interior of the boat. As I'd mentioned there, the number one selling boat from 18 to 28 feet now board fiberglass. That's quite a feat. They are huge in the southern United States. They've only been in Lake Erie here for a couple years. Uh, tons and tons of value in the boat and you see here they are out selling the competition by quite a bit. That many people, in my opinion, can't be wrong. If you have any questions, please let us know. We'd love to show you what the Nautic Star difference is all about. All right, here we are at the top side here of this 2302 Legacy. You'll see the one difference on this boat, as I said below, has a 250 on the back. We sell most of these with a 200, and it runs well with that. Of course, with a 250, it just runs even better. Uh, this is going to be a, a speed demon out there on the water. It's around a 44, 45 mile an hour boat with a 200 XB. I'm assuming with this engine, it's going to be pushing 50, maybe 50 plus. And of course, you do get a little bit more torque out of the V6. You have a wash down here at your uh, starboard walkthrough. Standard live wall in the port corner. The nice thing about the Legacy is the full bench across the back. Instead of the XS, which has a little bit more fishing space, but the seat's not as comfortable. You don't lose that much space in this, and then it affords you the ability to do a little bit more water sports or regular boating other than fishing. There is a ski bar that's available that pops up here. Uh, we do add that to a lot of uh, our, our 2302 Legacies, our Legacies period. The boat does have a Yeti cooler with a slide kit. We did upgrade the helm seat here. Flip up bolster uh, leaning post, and it does have a foot rest. We did also put the Nautic Star pad here at the helm. We also put a Simrad Go 7 on the boat from the factory. Actually, that may be a Go 9. I'll confirm that. We did put the uh, command link gauges in it as well. Infinity Bluetooth stereo and trim tabs. Again, white powder coating, white underside of the T-top. You have an electronics box. And we did put bolsters all the way down, so we did add the midship bolsters to the boat. Does have flip out backrests. They're in the uh, non deployed spot right now, and then we have the bow filler with cushion in right now. That does remove off there. The table pulls up, and then you got a nice dining area in the bow of the boat. For our market, there's a lot of people that want to be able to fish all day, but then go to the islands and maybe sit at the dock, go eat dinner, and have some drinks with their friends. It's perfect for that. And of course, in a center console, you get a really great ride. So that's what it's all about. Then you can flip these out when you're running, and now you've got a great place to lay out in the front of the boat just like a bow rider. So you're getting a, a really good entertainment boat that rides really good as well. And we did council uh, add a, a live well to the council, so it does have another live well there. Of course, you've got your head compartment here. It does have a porta potty in it, lots of room for storage as well. There's tons of features on these boats we can't get to in a short video. We're just trying to give you a better idea of what you can expect uh, on the boat. Obviously, you've got some storage and some other features here under the cushions in the back. You've got a raw water wash down here in the port corner. Lots to talk about. Again, number one selling fiberglass outboard boat from 18 to 28 feet. That's not by mistake. We'd love a shot at uh, showing you what we have to offer here with the brand. We love to also get you out on the water, which is the best, uh, the best way to show you what the boat's all about. We'll have these in the water from mid-April all the way through October. This One of these will be at the uh, CIC Boat Show April 27th through 29th, which would be a great time to demo it, but we're going to have boats available to demo all the time. If you'd like to set up your own personal demo, give us a call at 419-684-5365. 
You can send us an email at clemensboats.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media at clemensboats1 to keep up with what's new at Clemens Boats. We love a shot at earning your business. We've got a lot of boats here to show. Have a great day.